The, the, the month, according to who, whoever told us that story, this is the month our Lord Jesus was giving birth to on the 25th. <laughs> that story, no clear. But I mean, December, it is the month of joy. I know we've been having joy from January to November, but December comes with a different vibe. Like, it <laughs> fill So, today, I'll be making um, signature coconut rice. Like, Coconut rice that has a little bit of uh, chocolate chow inside of it. I mean, a very sweet and beautiful coconut rice, and it's courtesy of our world breaking record holder, Chef Basi. I honor you, I celebrate you, you're a great woman. So, guys, welcome back to Be Delicious. Let's get down to it. Hi, guys, so let's get down to business coconut rice with a twist. <laughs> so, we are using basmati rice today. You can use any rice of your choice, anything, long grain, any form of rice, no problem. This is the start of the dish. You can use without rice, you can do this is coconut milk, and I made it myself. You can buy, you can buy stock of anyone. Then, this is our stock fish, our stock flesh. This one is the twist. The, this is goat head, half of a goat head. Turkey, we are using turkey as protein today and onions, very important, our seasoning. I'm not going to be adding salt to this recipe because my seasoning could contain salt. Crayfish, a little bit of that. Then pepper soup spice, uh, pepper mix, then our uh, oil. The last but not the least, coconut flavor. I mean, we are cooking coconut rice. We need everything coconut. Okay, guys, I'm going to be seasoning the goat head and the coffee. I'll be boiling this for about 15 minutes or less. Please, you need to season your protein because even when the coconut milk is the style of the dish, you also need to get a great stock. I'm going to be adding salt, curry, or fine. This, I'm just going to be, like I said, my seasoning cube contains sauce and I will have to be very mild so that I will not serve food that looks like Lot's wife made it. Guys, you get it, Joe? You get, you get it? You get it? Read your Bible. So tell me that you guys don't read Bible because I believe you people should be laughing. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to let this, we're going to pour water into this and let it boil for about 15 minutes. Okay, I'm going to be adding oil. You know your quantity, whatever works for you. This is the quantity I'll be using. And I'll be mixing it with a little bit of coconut flavor. So we'll be adding our coconut flavor. This is optional, but I mean, it's coconut rice. <laughs> you need everything coconutty. Coconutty. Guys, guys should be laughing at this joke. <laughs> Secret now. Then onion. Onions, very, very important. Then I pepper it. I'm just gonna stir this for a few minutes. A few seconds actually. Then I'll add my stock cubes like I said there won't be any salt or any form of uh, curry or fine for this recipe okay guys I'm adding my stock cubes now you need this well seasoned like very well seasoned there is no tomato for this recipe just we are relying on our pepper and onions to give this a quality rice yeah, I wish you guys can perceive the aroma in this kitchen. It's like, oh, oh my god, it's so heavenly. Okay, guys, I'm going to be adding the protein now, which is the turkey and goat head. 
don't mind the stock entering the pot. We we'll still use the stock. So. Okay, guys, I'll be adding the stock flakes. This is one of the things that makes this dish different. Adding a little bit of crayfish because it's not a crayfish rice, and crayfish has this taste, it can overpower your dish, so you have to be careful. And I didn't let my meat to cook all through. I maybe just a little bit tender because it will still be in the pot even when I add the rice. So next I'm going to be adding the star which is coconut milk. The one I make by myself. Adding the lemon stuff. And again, seasoning. Very important. I'm going to add enough seasoning as possible because I'm not using salt, like I told you guys. And I'm reintroducing this. <laughs> I mean, it's coconut rice. So I'm going to let this come to a boil and I'll add the rice. Okay, guys. See our bubbling <laughs> coconut, coconut rice. I've, I've washed this rice, please. Never cook your rice without washing. If you want to parboil, fine. But parboiling your rice, there is a chance of it becoming soggy, especially when you're using basmati rice. No problem, but this is how I was taught. So this is how I'm going to do it. Parboil your, you wash your rice to you make it easier to cook and all of them will align so guys this is it i'm going to come back after 10 minutes to show you guys a trick when it comes to cooking rice any form of rice guys guys this smells so good okay guys when cooking rice come and do this lift and turn lift and turn gradually lift and turn so that the ones up will go down and the ones down will come up don't just cook your rice put it on the heat and leave it so i'm going to give this another 10 minutes so guys this is it though a beautiful coconut rice you see that it's not soggy it's not sticky just make this this x mass and you just be receiving guests guests will be calling you from a to z ah please okay guys we have cooked it's time to do what eat you can garnish this with your vegetables whatever suits you but this is basically i wish you guys can perceive this this is beautiful please don't burn my tongue Praise the Lord. <laughs> I'm happy because you know <laughs> coconut. <laughs> coconut, there <then> my end. <laughs> that rice. I mean, guys, try it though. Try it, then send send me messages. You need to try this because I can't be the only one excited about this rice. That rice was amazing. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'm, wish, I'm wishing everybody happy Christmas from now. Merry Christmas from now. This is going to be my code from now till the first of December. Merry Christmas. God loves you. I love you. Be delicious. Out.